What are you doing? What? What do you mean? What's with the uh, the gear? Oh, it's my PPE. You told me I should wear a mask when I'm doing stuff, so I'm doing exactly what you said. I think we need to talk about this. What are you talking about? I'm totally safe. So, uh, Andy thought during the COVID pandemic that we should make our way up to my temporary classroom and we could talk about his PPE and maybe the problems that I had with it. I found a, um, an article from the Society for Disaster Management, which I didn't know that exists. What was it exactly called? Disaster Management and Public Health Preparedness. Um, and it talked about if homemade masks would be a good thing in a flu pandemic. That's really what they have looked at. And uh, we'll link the study that was actually there if you really care to read it. But what they found was they would be a last resort. Now, we're living in a pandemic and I kind of feel like they're at a last resort and telling people maybe you could wear them. But there's, a, there's concern about people wearing them because I'm not sure that they know what they're doing. So you wanted to see me up here, you said? I give you Exhibit A. Hi, YouTube. I'm safe. So we said, no, we like said from that article that this would be a last resort. Um, here is your 10 second lesson on why it's not ideal. And then we'll talk about this problem. <laughs> um, this would be one cell in your body. Even that's too small for you to see. This would be comparatively a bacterial cell. I don't even think he's listening. I'm checking out my mask. <laughs> uh, this, yeah, you can't even see that, right? That would be a virus particle. This mask is not going to stop those viruses from getting in, even through this, but definitely through other places. This is last resort, so we're going to talk about like what would be ideal if you're going to do this to at least minimize or reduce what the risk is. But, but it looks good though, right? You look great. Okay. So, this is not a hospital mask. Why not? Come here. Because it's not made for a hospital. So this is a junky mask that <laughs> you've given a, me. This is a homemade mask. It's very hard to, it's very uncomfortable. This is part of the problem. This is why I don't think they want people to do this. They go through so much training in healthcare to learn how do you make sure it fits right, what are you supposed to be careful of. Okay, let's talk this about, is here. let's talk about even if you have it right. So it's at your nose. Now this one here doesn't have anything to make it contour. Some people will put tape right there. If you have glasses, it'll do that. But this little opening, this, even this, like when you breathe, the air is going to get in there. So this, this is not well, I, 100%. I want air to get in here. I need the air. You want air to come in through here. Gotcha. But this is like this is not like your scuba mask you were wearing, where when you <laughs> suction in, you're you're not going to yeah, have no. you don't have this whole negative pressure thing. But yeah. <laughs> would you stop fidgeting? It keeps sliding this, down, so I'm moving it back. This up. is the problem. I saw people wearing masks, and this lady was in line, and she kept doing this, and then she was handling her stuff, and she kept doing this. So the point of the mask is so that whatever's floating in the air, you're going to at least reduce what you're breathing in. But that might mean you have virus particles that are attached to this. So the minute you start touching, virus, I virus. Can, I can make faces at you under here if you don't know. <laughs> I can tell by these little things right uh. here. So my recommendation is you get the mask that you're going to use and you make sure you have it in a way that it's comfortable, that it fits, that it's covering your nose, that it's as good around your cheeks as it can be. That is a good look for you. Hey. We're home, so it's okay that I touch. Um, whatever you can do, if you just made it to have elastic, so that it shouldn't be like this, it should be like this. If you're all cool and have a long beard, buy beard, not going to work with this. I've I would guys, call it a little viral trap I've right there. I've seen guys with beards, it's like their mask rides up on Yeah, that's not going to work. So I saw a lady the other day like this. Yes, I've seen. I don't, I don't want to be mean to the people. They're trying. So, covered here like this. If you have glasses, it's going to fog up. You're going to need to figure out like how to deal with that. Some people do put tape right there. 
And then I think you need to walk around your house and see if you can deal with this without touching it. Bye. Not right now. I was just saying in general. Oh, I'm going to walk around the house and <laughs> see if I can deal with it. And maybe someone needs to watch you. Like when I'm in lab with my students, they think they're awesome, and then I'm pointing out things they did. So, yeah, you just touched it. Are you just adjusting or are you practicing? It? I'm practicing not touching it because... Okay. This, I notice that you keep doing that. And then you push it into my hand. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Can't I don't that. like that this isn't down, so we got to... If you're going out in this, it needs to be down further. Okay. But I've seen people who keep readjusting. Rule number one, no readjusting. No matter how uncomfortable it is. Once it is you, uncomfortable. Once Talk you, to somebody in healthcare. It's very uncomfortable. Once you leave the house, you don't readjust it. Right? Yeah. Now, I'm going to say that I'll put it on when I'm in the car. Because it's already uncomfortable. Yes. I put it on once I get somewhere. What if you're going to a drive thru I don't. I'm not going to a drive thru Just thought I'd throw it out there. <laughs> But once you put it on, that's it. It's on. And don't try it out the first time you go out. Try it. Walk around. Say like, "Am I cool with this? Is this uncomfortable? Realize it's uncomfortable. Maybe this is good. You don't want to go anywhere." The other thing. I got it all adjusted. Looks good. It's comfortable. Very colorful. Ish. Yeah. Now I'm back from the store. Or maybe you just got back in your car. I got back in my got car. Your and you're not like, oh, thank God. What, how do I get this thing off? So, it's covered in virus. <laughs> There's so much virus on my face, but I'm not breathing it in. Maybe you are. <laughs> They're tiny. No, this is good. This is good fabric. It's very good fabric. It's the virus, down your nose. This is the virus does not want to go into the colorful it's fabric. Down your nose. So one thing, I'm going to break the rule and touch it so I can talk. One thing I've noticed, guys, any stubble at all, these things are going to stick to you like glue-ish. So stubble, get rid of it. Get rid of that facial hair. You should be clean Or get shaded. stubble on your nose so then it'll stick to it. Right? You can do that. If you can grow, if you can grow <laughs> stubble up here, then you're good to go. So the thing is, if you're then going to touch this, if you've been out, first you should wash your hands. Okay. Or hand sanitizer, please. Hand sanitizer is great. It works against this virus. It works against many things. Then, I mean, for me, I just... Listen, this isn't the hospital. We're not talking about what is proper demasking in the hospital, but I just use my hand to take one of the elastics off. I do run into a problem when I am wearing my glasses. I'm not always wearing them, that it could get tied up in there. Now you just got virus on like, the floor. And then you're like the people at... Now it's it, a virus carpet. That's like the people at Costco that like are... Just dropping things all When over. I went to Home Depot, there were gloves in the parking lot. Yeah. Slobs. Um, and then what should you do? Not if you have not, you would never do that. Right, so what I should would take you do? it off. Yeah. I would take it off. And I Put would it on the kitchen say, table. Kelly. <laughs> what do I do? Kelly, I have a mask that's dirty. What do I do? Put it down like in the, near the laundry or whatever. I would put it in the oven at 150 degrees no, for one no, hour. No, you're not. <laughs> this is what he's trying to tell me. You would put it down off, be back hall, garage, whatever, and then what are you going to do with your hands? Wash them again. That's literally probably what you're going to do in the garage. No, I won't do that. And then be like, Cal, there's Because I don't want virus on the garage there. floor. I think you're okay. <laughs> and then you're going to wash your hands again. Yes. I mean, for me, for us, when we come in the house, Every time we just wash our hands, not because we're germaphobes. She we has just wash like, our hands. We have like a decontamination area because we it's like we, don't. we do, kind of. The mail, UPS packages is a decontamination area. You're making it sound like I'm a freak about it. I'm not. I'm just being smart. She's a microbiologist about it, and it's a decontamination area. I feel like I, these are my microbe goggles, and I'm seeing things. We call them nerd goggles, <laughs> but yes, they are microbe goggles. <laughs> And then one of the questions that people were asking is, well, if it's not that good at protecting you against the virus, why are you wearing it? And the simple fact is you could have COVID-19 right now, and it, it's symptomless. <laughs> could have. It's not a big deal. It's yeah. symptomless in a lot of people, and I think that's what they're yeah. trying to contain right now, is when you wear this, you limit how much you could be releasing. So the question is, are you wearing a mask? And... If you are, are you taking safe precautions? Um, they, they've said repeatedly, they being the health officials, that 
one of the things that we're trying to do right now is flatten this curve. And in doing so, it is as important for you if you are asymptomatic and wearing a mask to prevent transmission. So are you wearing a mask? Are you following any or all of the protective guidelines for this? And, and are you um, comfortable when you're wearing a mask and keeping yourself safe with this? If you are or you're not, put the comments down below. I've always wanted to do that. Put the comments down subscribe. below. Is that what you're going to say? Subscribe? Down below. <laughs> put the comments down, down below. below. <laughs> and uh, we'd love to know if you are wearing a mask. Are you following these precautions? Was this helpful? Do you hate us? That's possible. Am I boring? Am I a dork? Did you fall asleep? <laughs> Did you stop watching this? We've got the analytics. I mean, I'm already awkward. <laughs>